Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Heli. And I was thinking um, I didn't upload any video in this channel for three years. And I know a lot of you are wondering what's going on, where things have developed. Do I live with my twin flame? Am I are we still in a relationship? And I just want to share a short update since I'm gonna see him finally after three years that we've been apart and the last video I see that I made was when he came to Israel and we spent amazing few days together as always but we realized then that we, we can't keep this connection to be a relationship a romantic relationship because I live in Israel and he lives in Costa Rica and there's so many other things and other issues that prevent us from being together so we had to be adult and to let it fade but it never faded and there's always been this huge deep love that we feel to each other and we're still very good friends and we talk whenever we can and I know a lot of you have been have been finding struggles uh, in relationships during the COVID because a lot of the twin flames didn't came from the same area. <laughs> the universe located us in other in distant places so we can find each other and feel the I know like feel the connection to be more powerful because we will it feels like some kind of miracle the way that. I hear from stories of people who met their twin flames that it was magical, like the whole universe has intervailed for them to meet. And yeah, it's been it's been very a lot, very much a lot. And we plan to meet again at March twenty twenty, three years ago. And I almost bought the ticket, and the day after the that I planned to buy the ticket and suddenly the whole COVID pandemic shit has begun and they start scaring people from not flying and shutting down airports and countries and all the limitations and thank God it's over. But we realized then at that point that, okay, maybe it shouldn't be now. Maybe it's not the time. Maybe it's not the right person. And we just have to face it that we cannot meet. So we both kept on with our life. And around November 2020, I met a guy who was uh, my partner for two and a half years. And at the same days, he also met the one who was his partner for two and a half years. And we both broke up around the same time and it wasn't planned or anything. But it's amazing to see like the way we both been through the same patterns with our partners and the same issues that we had to work on and really the the time the timing that it started and it ended and it was just I don't know like from above or something. And I kept loving him and he still loves me and it's still, we, we realize that we cannot stop our life waiting for the right time for us to be together. And the universe has opened up for us opportunities of relationships and people that came into our life, which were the right people at the right time then. And I know that with my ex, I had a very big love and we had a lot of things to learn together and some karma to end and I know the karma ended because once it was over I just didn't feel anything anymore I felt free and today we're apart and not discussing at all but even though I really loved him and it was big emotional love there was something missing like after you have a relationship with your twin flame it's really hard to have those, those deep emotions at the same soul level 
uh, and it's different and he, I was searching for that all the time like this deep connection and this something inside and like he's an amazing person I really loved him but there was something some kind of different love from my twin flame and I don't know how to explain it. it's like feeling that I got home when we're next to each other and just sitting together watching each other and holding hands we don't need more than that and he's finally coming in a month and he's gonna be here for only three days he's traveling with his mom but he's coming to see me and we're gonna hang out together for a few days and I'm really looking forward to that and I kind of feel like happiness from inside and after three years and I know it's gonna be like we never parted and I'm just so happy for that and I know a lot of you are struggling with the whole distant thing and I learned something through during this three years that sometimes it's just not the right time for you to be together and sometimes maybe you don't need to be together you just had to meet each other and wake up that spark in your soul that showed you the right way and woke you up into your life because once you feel so much unconditional love and you feel like you find you found your twin flame those of you who experience that knows what i'm talking about but once you have that feeling it your life will never be the same like i'm so grateful for meeting him and even though it was broken when we decided to end it during the pandemic i was i didn't know how i'm gonna move on but i knew that there is a reason for everything that happens and even for the reason that we're not meeting and maybe i have some lesson to go through with another person which what happened which is what happened and Sometimes, like, if you ask me, like, three years ago, when I had to meet him, uh, if I can love someone else, I would tell you, no, I can't. But I did have love. It wasn't the same, yeah, but you can experience deep emotions to someone else. And knowing that you're blessed for having this kind of relationship, this kind of person in your life, and... For me and him, I don't see us breaking up, breaking apart anytime. And we just care for each other. And if I'm having sometimes a very bad day or something, or he's having, we know how to comfort each other. And just a few minutes of saying the right words that we needed to hear. And everything is behind us. And I'm feeling blessed for having this kind of person in my life. And... I'm looking forward to see him again after three years and just hang out together, just feel each other energy and vibe and we feel our soul to to feel like coming back home. So I think that's it for now. And I wish you all very best and I'll be glad to have your comments if you sur survived this far and to know what's going on with you uh, so take care have a great evening bye